Breaking news, a major legal victory for opponents of one of the most hotly contested ballot issues in Tennessee history. Yeah, a federal judge has ordered a recount of the votes cast in 2014 for Amendment 1, which had to do with abortion. News Channel 5's Emily Lexon is following this new development for us. Emily, what led to this decision? Well, the U.S. District Judge determined that the method used to count those votes was fundamentally unfair. Now, this comes after, after eight Tennessee voters filed a lawsuit against state lawmakers claiming that the state did not correctly count those votes. Now, in November of 2014, Amendment 1 passed with 53% of the vote. It gave lawmakers more power to restrict abortions. For an amendment to pass, the Tennessee Constitution says it must be approved by, quote, a majority of all the citizens of the state voting for governor. Now, during the campaign, some ads encouraged residents to vote for Amendment 1, but not the governor's race, to help boost the chances of it passing. Now, a judge has ordered officials to recount the votes on Amendment 1 that were cast by voters who also voted in the governor's race. Opponents argued that anyone who voted for an amendment, but not for governor, cast an ineligible vote. The failure to count it correctly, as required by the Tennessee Constitution, violates our constitutional rights, both under the Tennessee Constitution and also under the federal Constitution because it dilutes our vote. The judge gave election officials 20 days to submit a proposed recount timeline. A spokesperson for the attorney general's office says they are currently reviewing the, ru the ruling. And we should also note that this decision comes one day after a Williamson County circuit judge ruled that the state did follow proper vote counting procedures. Reporting live in the newsroom, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thanks, Emily.